Milton, I just don't think this part is right for me. Why not? Well, like I said, I've never played the other woman before. Oh. Now, the public accepts me in a certain image, and I just don't think I can be convincing in this role. Convincing? Are you kidding? Rudy, you'd be great. Do you think I'd let you do anything that might hurt your image or jeopardize your career just to get you in my picture? Yes, I do. Well, that's beside the point. <laughs> Ruta, please, will you take the script home, get the feel of it, then come over here Monday night, have dinner with Ruth and me, and we can discuss it, huh? Well, all right, I'll take the script. But I can't possibly be here Monday night. Because Monday night, you and Ruth are coming over to my house. I'm having a little dinner party in honor of your 14th wedding anniversary. That's wonderful, darling. <laughs> maybe, maybe sometime during the evening, you and I can sneak off together someplace and discuss things. All right. <laughs> Yes, Mrs. Carmichael. May I toss the salad? Please do. <laughs> what's, what's the big idea? What are you, some kind of a nut? You're the one who's some kind of a nut. Married 14 years to a wonderful wife. A wife who worries about you, brings you chicken soup when you're sick, and laughs at your stale jokes in Kansas City, and what thanks does she get? You call her stupid, and carry on with another woman. Another woman? Me? Don't oh, act so innocent, you teeny bopper, you. I heard you over the intercom. Just cuddle close. Let my lips caress your loveliness. Oh, my love. Oh, my pet. I can't go on sharing you. I can't. I can't. I can't. Caress your loveliness. Are you crazy or something? Yes, that was the scene we were rehearsing from his picture. Oh, one of my, my new picture. Your picture. Yes, my... Ah, a likely story. <laughs> you... <laughs> Listen to me. I can't Listen see you. Listen to me. <laughs> What is it, Mrs. Carmichael? What is it? You can't fool me like you fool your stupid wife. Uh, <laughs> stupid wife? Did somebody call me? <laughs> Rose, Rose. I thought you gave up comedy. Uh, Sorry, Mrs. Burl. I tried to keep all of this from you, you poor little thing. Now, now, Ruth, this is an entire misunderstanding. I'll say it yes, is. Yes, yes. Mrs. Carmichael overheard us rehearsing a love scene, uh, and she believed it. You bet I believed it. I heard every word you said. You're not kidding me. Now, will you stop that? You give me that. This is a script. This is a script that we're reading. Thanks. Don't you see these lines? Yeah, what script? Caress me, my love. Let me caress uh, your loveliness. My love, my I cat. My cat. I can't bear to share yeah, it. Yeah, read it. Look. Read it. <laughs> I apologize. Uh. Oh, good heavens. But when I heard it over the intercom, it all sounded so real. You were so convincing. Oh, I don't know what came over me. I know what came over me. <laughs> Mr. Burl, yeah. can you ever forgive me? <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael. I'll not only forgive you, but I want to tell you, I love you. You love me? Yeah, because you believed Ruta as the other woman. Now, Ruta, this ought to convince you that you can play the part. <laughs> Some lunch, because the salad's on me. <laughs>